<laughs> in about half an hour, tens of thousands of runners will hit the Houston streets for the Chevron Houston Marathon and Aramco Half Marathon. Meanwhile, we got Fox 26's Shelby Rose live at the starting line this morning. Good morning, Shelby. I'm sure they're all warming up, getting pumped. How are they looking out there? Yeah, we actually were just watching what they called the elite athletes running up and down the start line right here, getting ready, preparing for the 51st Chevron Houston Marathon. We have all of these race officials and everyone. It looks kind of barren right now, but guys, just give it about 20 or 30 minutes or so. We're going to see so many athletes coming down here. 32,000 to be exact. That's 5,000 more than what we saw last year. I think what's an incredible statistic that we just heard one of the announcers saying is that they have 100. And 13 athletes with disabilities competing this morning. That's more than they've had ever for their Chevron Houston Marathon. And I know you said in about 30 minutes we're going to see that first group come through. Uh, they call it Corral A. That's where we have all our elite athletes. But 10 minutes before that, so in about 20 minutes, is when we're going to see the wheelchair and the hand cyclists. So many elite athletes, Paralympians, people who have actually even won the Boston Marathon. Um, in terms of the elite athletes, we've heard people from Ukraine, different countries such as that in different states coming into Houston to run the Houston Marathon. And if you do have a friend or a family member running, you're able to track them through the Chevron Houston Marathon app. There's a number at the bottom of their bib. You could go on there and see when they're going to cross that finish line, which is at Lamar and Crawford. Of course, we'll be there reporting on who's going to win this morning. So, Chelsea, come back to you. All right, exciting to see so many people representing different countries and also uh, different disabilities. Amazing stuff. Thank you, Shelby.